Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to be talking about HBAR overall. Uh, now this one is a very interesting video, right? Because as you guys can see from the title, uh, and you probably think that it's clickbait, but it's not. Uh, we are going to talk about a $50 billion plus market cap for HBAR. And we're going to talk about how we get to that number as well uh, and why I see it overall. Um, but we're also going to talk about some overall news that I found uh, regarding HBAR as well. But before we jump into this video, I just want to ask if you guys are brand new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing and turning notifications on. And also, if you guys enjoy the daily uploads, definitely leave a like as well. So let's analyze hbar here right we are in this chop zone at that 20 cent level to that 23.5 uh perfect chop zone area we've been in it for about one let's see two four six eight days now currently uh that's from when we dropped down uh we could argue that we've pretty much been in it multiple times uh, and we just tested a breakout, couldn't break out, we hit resistance and came back down. You know, it could be Bitcoin's fault, who knows? Uh, it most likely is. But for the most part, we are looking for some price action to happen very soon. Uh, I'm still very bullish, like I said. Um, I think that we are posed, or I should say poised, uh, for a breakout very soon. Uh, which would lead us to that 33.7 zone. I think that 33.7 zone is a clear picture of where we go. Uh, I think once we break it, we can really retest the all-time high and break out massively. Of course, we do have some resistance here at that 42 cent mark almost. Uh, but nonetheless, let's go over to Live Coin Watch because you might be asking my yourselves, why am I even watching this video? It's probably clickbait. You know, HBAR is never going to $50 billion market cap. And I just want to say, I believe that it's going to very, very soon. And when I say very soon, I think this year alone, and I think it's an easy target to hit. And I'll tell you why right now. So let's analyze some of these projects that we are competing with. So first and foremost, Huge shout out to HBAR Tower. Uh, if you guys are on HBAR and want to follow somebody on Twitter who is pretty much up to date on HBAR news and overall insights, definitely check out HBAR Tower. But nonetheless, let's look at this. Now, I'm, I'm not going to compare it on this asset specifically, but we, were, we will compare market cap overall uh, to some of these projects and see where we could be in terms of price. So first and foremost, uh, Binance Smart Chain here, uh, August 2020. August 2019 so it's one year apart overall uh, but we see DAG based POS POS of course 10,000 plus transactions per second 200 plus uh, three to five second finality three to five second block uh, transaction fee less than a cent fraction of a cent I should say uh, about 50 plus cents uh, variable which this is fixed so again another pain point like I mentioned in my last video 1.265 billion plus transactions 613 million 9.4, 11.8, 500 plus, 600 plus, forkless, several, 273,000 plus accounts, 76.5 million plus accounts, which is crazy. Uh, and then we see 130 plus trans or estimated network cost, sorry, and then 200 million plus. Um, but this one's, you know, we're absolutely killing it overall. Um, I think it's only a matter of time before the price action pretty much, you know, comes up to these prices as well with it once it catches up to you know the project that's actually live and everything because right now the project's doing incredible the team's doing incredible it's just the fact that the price hasn't caught up to the project <laughs> i mean that's pretty much how i would describe it uh but also we have ada which i talked about right and this is this is one that i want to compare right if we come over to market cap for ada we're obviously slaughtering it in terms of you know overall more um projects right because the project we could see the statistics here it, it's absolutely insane um so we see 48.9 billion dollar market cap right now if right now if hbar had this market cap it would be at six dollars six dollars for hbar now i think that the, that's very conservative honestly i i think that that could easily happen now if it wanted to reach you know uh Binance coins market cap overall it would be about almost $7 so me personally 
you know, when we're talking about market cap and price point, I think three to six dollars is easily achievable for H bar. But I also think that ten dollars is achievable for H bar. I mean, honestly, realistically, it should have the same market cap as Ethereum. To be to be completely honest with you. Now, what would that be? I mean, that would be it'd be about thirty five dollars for H bar, which is crazy to think about, right? And the reason why I think that it's better than Ethereum is because we looked at the statistics, right? Ethereum is is old news, in my opinion. Uh, it just is. You know, the tech's outdated, the project's outdated. That's why Ethereum 2.0 is trying to get pushed. That's going to be outdated by the time that it comes out. We already talked about why. Um, but also, we're seeing, you know, versus the XRP ledger. This, this is great, right? So we have Hashgraph technology, Ash tree, 10,000 plus transactions per second, 1,500 plus. Now, I do know that the XRP ledger says that they could actually do 65,000. Uh, so HBAR tower, just a little mistake there. It's all good. Uh, 3 to 5 seconds finality, 3 to 5 seconds here as well. Um, less than uh, a fraction of a cent. This is also a fraction of a cent. This is There should be another zero here with two, just saying. Uh, one point, almost 1.8, um, you know, billion. 1.9 almost over here uh, now this is for total transactions which it's actually almost catching up and it's been out since june 12th so it is doing incredible things in terms of transaction volume uh, 500 plus d apps zero payment method uh, and then we also see uh, forkless also there is some d apps being built on the xrp ledger just saying uh, utility fork eg flare um, it's not really a utility fork it's more of a the best way that I could I could say it is it's more like a scalable. It's more scalable in terms of it being integrated with Flare uh, overall. But we also see 245,000 plus accounts, 2.99 uh, million. Then we see uh, 90,000 kilowatts an hour, 14.4 million kilowatts an hour. And then we see the native services. So yeah some of these numbers are wrong some of these details are wrong no offense or no disrespect at all to h4 tower it's it's I, it's hard to you know keep everything updated but it's all good um but overall you know it is still doing very good compared to the xrp ledger and this has been out since 2019. now hedera has been building since 2012 they just ha haven't had a solid live project until this time so they are doing incredible things overall. I can't argue that. And now we have four, uh, you know, project pretty much <laughs> comparisons. And, and the first is Algo. Uh, now we've talked about Algo. I'm very bullish on Algo. I hold Algo. Uh, but we see that it's getting slaughtered again by HBAR. We also see if we come over here to Polkadot again, you know, it's doing incredible things compared to a lot of these major assets. And just to give you guys an insight, uh, right now, Polkadot's at a $22.5 billion market cap, and we could definitely find one second, I believe it's on this page, where is Algo, might be on the second page, unless I'm blind one second. Okay, I definitely had to miss it, so let me search it up one second. So here is Algo. Uh, currently right now at a 2.68 billion dollar market cap so it's pretty much the same market cap right now uh, as uh, HBAR so they, they both are lagging in price uh, but we did see um, we did see Algo reach a pretty decent high just recently this year uh, it was about over one dollar and it was actually a dollar sixty exact so uh, it did reach a pretty decent high so we are currently waiting for uh, algo to really move a little bit more too as well as hbar uh, but also we see one second tezos too i mean tezos is also another bullish asset that a lot of people hold uh, but when we compare it you know we, we are seeing massive differences in scalability um, we're also seeing it in price as well as you know how fast it settles as well so a lot of these assets I, I mean, here's Doge. I, I don't even know why we're gonna compare Doge, but we are gonna compare Doge. Why not? Uh, but I'm not. I'm not seeing why we can't hit massive parabolic highs on HBAR. Currently at 52 in terms of market cap, 1.73 billion dollar market cap. We are astronomically undervalued, and it's not even a joke at this point. Like it's actually 
crazy how undervalued we are in total. But, I mean, in my opinion, like I said, I think that this is conservative, 3 to $6. I think definitely $10 could be achieved this bull run as well. That's how bullish I am on this asset. Uh, let me know what you guys think, though. I mean, like I said, market cap in this game does not really mean everything at the end of the day. And I, I mention that a lot of times because when we are investing in sound projects that are essentially performing even better than a lot of these projects that are already developed and fully running, uh, it has a whole bunch of backers. It's been up since, you know, 2019 of June. So Algo and HBAR pretty much launched at the same time. Uh, but Polkadot launched this year and we are already scaling way past them. Uh, and then we also see, or I should say last year, sorry, not this year. Uh, but we see, you know, Tezos 2018, we're slaughtering it. Doge 2013. Uh, and then we see XRP Ledger, of course, uh, Cardano 2017, and, you know, Binance Smart Chain in 2020, but we are already scaled way past it. So a lot of these projects, yeah, we're, we're scaling right past them, even though, you know, HBAR is still very new. So the scalability is there. We are growing massively every single day. I think the price, like I said, is very astronomically undervalued. Uh, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Also, if you guys do want more free content, you guys can follow me on Twitter at NCashOfficial. And you guys could also join the free Discord down in the description below. Uh, but nonetheless, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely like, subscribe, and turn notifications on. Um, I hope that you guys are having a beautiful day or a beautiful night wherever you guys are in this beautiful world. This has been Nick. Peace out.